Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and I had got a very interesting question. It was about Dara Karaka. What is the Dara Karaka? Dara Karaka is the planet with the least degree. Well, we know that in astrology, Dara Karaka uh, gives us indications about our married life and our interactions with our spouse. Uh, many times people have this misunderstanding that Dara Karaka shows us how our spouse will be or um, what, which planet will be prominent uh, in his or her chart, right? The chart of our spouse, which is not correct. Dara Karaka is, uh, as Vishti Larson had come to my channel, he had... Uh, spoken on the Navamsha very beautifully <coughs> three years back. So he said, Dharakaraka is like the combined uh, experiences of relationships that we have within us uh, from many, many lifetimes actually. So it is how we most likely are, uh, we are, um, I won't say supposed to behave or we are most likely to behave okay we are most likely to behave uh, when we are in a relationship with anybody actually not with uh, our spouse but with anybody but why does it say spouse because mm, with your spouse you are spending most of your time so then you your original personality comes out in front of your spouse so therefore uh, this is what is Dara Karaka. So it doesn't mean it shows only your interactions with your spouse, but it shows everything. But within that, your spouse is very prominent. So therefore, uh, this is the example chart of a lady who was born on 23rd of June 1990, 10.19 p.m. Hapur, Uttar Pradesh, India is the place. So this is a chart with uh, Capricorn Lagna, as you see, it's Sun, Moon, Jupiter in the sixth house, uh, Mercury, Venus in the fifth house, and Rahu Ketu in the one seven axis, Mars in third, and Saturn in twelfth. Now, of course, this is the Lagna chart. This is not the Bhav chart. Um, placement should be taken from the Bhav chart only. Okay and i have made the video on bhav chart you can see how to get your bhav chart where you'll get your bhav chart and all all the queries but for the simplicity of the video i am assuming this lagna chart is the bhav chart okay but do not do this mistake uh, for explanation purposes i am using this as the bhav chart so let's assume saturn is not only in sagittarius but he's also in the 12th house okay let's assume for the simplicity of this video and all the other planets also and as usual if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it uh, down below and if you want a consultation from me you will find the link uh, to my website down in the description section and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him so now dara karaka planet with the least degree which is the planet with the least degree here 8 degrees, 4 degrees, alright, so Venus is the Dara Karaka here, so Venus, Venus is the natural Dara Karaka and here he is also the uh, Dara Karaka for the chart, okay, and also he is in Taurus, so <coughs> Venus is himself his dispositor. So dispositor means Lord of the sign. So Lord of the sign here is also Venus because Taurus is ruled by Venus. Now, the thing is, what is going on in the chart? So first we check uh, the Ascendant Lord. So where is the Ascendant Lord? Is in the 12th house. Uh, ascendant Lord in the 12th can show pessimistic thoughts sometimes or especially difficulty in being optimistic if the overall chart is not very strong provided 
otherwise it can show higher optimistic spiritual thinking all right so it depends on how the chart is now apart from this venus is in taurus in own sign uh he's conjunct the 6th lord and the 9th lord mercury so what's going on here where is the 7th lord so whenever you discuss dara karaka do not discuss it in isolation i know you are tempted oh yeah venus is in 5th house it's in taurus great dignity wow fantastic no 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 don't do that do not do this in the next 100 years <laughs> whenever you are talking about dara karaka always you should see things in the right perspective of marriage okay which means you must always check the seventh the seventh house the second house and the eleventh house because second seventh and eleventh are the houses of marriage so now <coughs> what is going on here in the chart if you check properly the second lord uh, which is saturn is again in the 12th house a challenging placement uh, where is the 7th lord 7th lord is again placed in the 6th house this is another challenging placement where is the 11th lord mangal he is placed in the 3rd house uh, yeah this is not a bad placement not a great placement either because of the sign which mars is in now pisces is a great sign but mars doesn't do that great in pisces <coughs> now this is a chart where the dara karaka is very good but the overall chart is not very good for marital bliss marital happiness now if you go to the dasha so saturn mahadasha is running currently so then she will have mercury mahadasha then she will have ketu mahadasha then she will have venus mahadasha okay <laughs> so this 17 years will be very crucial because this will be the dasha where yeah she will experience most of the material life and then by the time ketu creeps in she uh, will be almost around uh, you know beginning of 50s of course Uh, nonetheless uh, let's discuss what's going on here so currently saturn mahadasha is going on 2021 uh, august saturn rahu is going on so what is the dara karaka telling let's discuss the dara karaka first dara karaka is venus so it is indicating that uh, feeling a sense of love romance beauty sexuality a uh, sense of of uh, belonging uh, within the relationship intimacy comfort luxury all these things are very important for this person this person really values all this this person would be really insisting on all this all right and uh, venus is in the 5th house so this is uh, the house of creativity and this is also the house of children so this this lady can really like uh, daughters very much because of uh, Mer- uh, mercury venus being in the fifth so this is her experience this is how she is supposed to see the world okay this is what she would want to experience now if you go to venus uh, and check venus is in kritika nakshatra so kritika nakshatra <coughs> and venus will very strongly indicate a uh, very spicy food habits okay and a desire to have exotic cuisines out of your uh, out of your tradition sometimes uh, but this is not it you can't just say oh uh, she will be roaming with uh, her husband or you know, spouse and just having exotic cuisines right it's not like this you have to check what is going on with the lord of kritika which is the sun sun is in the 6th house again there you go so it's like saying you want to experience something but when you do it you contract some kind of disease and here sun is himself the 8th lord 8th lord also shows diseases because 8th house is the house of death 
and it's the house of longevity also because death and longevity are like two sides of the same coin you know one goes up the other goes down <coughs> so therefore which houses does venus rule in this chart venus is also ruling the 10th house and he's also ruling the 5th house so therefore a sense of being in love and creative experiences is very important at the same time it is important that she feels after marriage that she is doing something big in life because the dara karaka is the 10th lord okay because of this she will really uh, it's not necessary that she would want to marry somebody who has done big in life but she herself whoever she marries she should feel that after marriage yes we are doing big things in life together and that has to be coupled with venusian traits okay but if you check uh, the upcoming dashas they are not very uh, conducive for married life especially mercury as the sixth lord now he is also the ninth lord but sixth house uh, sixth house and ninth house combination can give um, uh, things like uh, spirituality or celibacy okay brahmacharya but what about mercury where is mercury placed he is in taurus in mrikshira nakshatra mrikshira is ruled by mars so mars is the 11th lord sitting in the third house so this can really help as mars is also the 11th lord okay and of course he is also the fourth lord so although the sixth house is linked so it is showing that there are some struggles but eventually there is gain in marriage so third house is linked so during mercury dasha she would really like to travel okay and mercury himself is in the fifth house so a lot of happiness and joy from travel and this dara karaka is sitting there with mercury so this is like saying you at a deeper soul level you really want to experience that it is not just a superficial encounter see many people go for traveling but when the dara karaka is linked to travel then it is like a soul's desire to travel with your spouse okay but here what is happening is the sixth house is linked so it's showing that if you travel then the it's like saying there are some problems in your marriage because currently for this life this is her lagna chart okay rashi chart or bhav chart whichever you want to say because in this case we are assuming that the lagna and bhav charts are the same so assuming this is also the bhav chart mercury as a sixth lord will always trouble the marriage okay irrespective of who is the dara karaka what is going on <coughs> so now if you see individually um if you don't try to combine things then you will give a wrong prediction you may say oh you will really like traveling right but here the thing is uh, because it is with the dara karaka so the travel should be with the spouse but because he is the sixth lord therefore and his dasha will be running after 3 years from now therefore this can create problems in marriage so this is like saying you really want to travel but then travel ends up giving you a lot of distress okay in your married life the reason can be whatever well what do you think what could be the reasons for having a difficult married life because of travel and i'm not saying sec uh, saying secluded travel here like you go there i go somewhere else no i'm not saying that i'm saying both both the parties are traveling together but still there's a lot of misery and difficulty in match okay and the person can also contract diseases through this now nonetheless let's go and check uh, in the navamsha chart what is going on in the navamsha chart so here again venus is in aquarius and in the 6th house so this also shows you know difficulty in continuing uh, the married life uh, for long period of time so the thing is we also need to whenever we are talking of gemini we also need to talk of uh, the atma karaka here okay planet with the highest degree so who is the planet with the highest degree 29 degrees saturn shani maharaj is the atma karaka 
so what is the atma karaka atma karaka is the desire of the soul that which binds the soul actually okay so this is sitting this atma karaka is ruling the ascendant and he is also sitting the 12th house atma karaka in the 12th house this can show a person who really likes to travel different places but this saturn is aspected by his enemies like sun moon and if you check uh, closely here sun is also the 8th lord so this can show that inherently you like to travel very much but in this life when you are traveling as a part of the karma of this life there is you know suffering okay suffering in the sense like there can be losses or you might lose your passport or something like this which uh, or you might be kept you might be kept as a captive captive somewhere you know 12th house can show all this jails or imprisonment and all this in a good way and in a bad way both if you understand what i mean so <coughs> the thing here is uh, the soul is desiring always that yes i want to travel and uh, travel is also very crucial because uh, of the dara karaka venus okay and the nakshatra lord um, if you see the nakshatra lord of uh, mercury who is conjunct venus that is actually mars is sitting in the third house of travel okay mercury is in mrikshira ruled by mars which is in the third house so now if this uh, this lady of course uh, this lady had come uh, for a career consultation but if this lady would uh, come for a relationship reading what would you suggest this lady that madam you would really like to travel inherently with or without your spouse but in this case when you travel with your spouse then there could be inherent problems within your within your married life so you really need to ensure wherever you are traveling you really need to ensure that you will stay there and you should take all the precautions that are necessary like some travel insurance or something like or at least when you are doing like inter country travel because saturn is in the 12th house you see so accidental insurance travel insurance life insurance very 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 critical for her okay so this is how you know because the dara karaka and atma karaka is telling that yes this person likes to travel but then the dasha and the karma of this life is saying that better she doesn't travel so then what do you do you try to as an astrologer that's your job your job is to give a suggestion which <clears throat> by which the person doesn't feel that he or she is behaving in, in a very unnatural way at the same time the person is not spoiling his or her own life okay so therefore it's very important that you indicate the person that yes for you life insurance travel insurance health insurance these are very 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 critical you just can't jeopardize with all this okay you may do investments later you may save money but insurance is primary for you all right of course there are many other other things uh, which we could go on discussing about my life i am interested to know what do you think about this uh, ladies married life how will it be when there will be ups and when there will be downs okay so please write it down in the comments and please back it up with proper astro logic okay not uh imagination it's like rule based logic okay thank you very much um, this is how you can predict what should a person be doing just by seeing the dark card okay thank you very much for your patience and if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to down below and if you want a consultation from me please go to my website down below okay in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him